Ian's got a bag of goodies. And I just want to show you his bag of goodies. So this is what Ian's started to carry around with him now. This is my rage pack. He calls it his rage pack. So um, if Ian can just show you what's in his rage pack, and he, he explains how he uses his rage pack. This, this is the centre of it. This rubber hose, as you can see it. It's had quite a lot of use. And I think it's got a bit more, a lot more use to go yet. So rubber hose for beating things with, just not your partner. Right? No, on this telephone book. Right. And I'll get that down on the floor. So we'll take, we'll take this other one, because this is another rage pack thing. No, it's all part of it. This is all part of the rage pack. This is, this is a very practical part of your rage pack. Rubber. Gloves so that you don't hurt your hands. By hand. All right? Trust me, you're going to want some gloves. All right? I do this on a, on, a, on a mattress on the floor. So, I just so he does it on a mattress on the floor? And I try not to make too much sound. No, no, make as much sound as you want. We'll be right, I think, with the police. <laughs> so, it's with the rubber glove, please not. So, you generally kneel down on the floor. Gardening glove. Yeah. You kneel down on the floor generally? I'm on a mattress. On a mattress? To protect me. So, I can lie on the mattress, I so can you roll can't... over on the mattress, I can scream on the mattress, those sort of things. Now, for some of you, having the gloves might be a problem if they're a bit take too long to put on and take off. Because <laughs> um, generally I find when I get into anger, you yeah. generally want to express it straight away. So. And I put the person that I'm, whatever I'm angry with, into the telephone book. And aim at the telephone book. So it could be you. <laughs> Etc. You get the idea? Just connect and to that. If I want to vary it a little, I can. <laughs> what he's doing is ripping out the pages of the table. And sometimes, sometimes you look at an ad in the... Sometimes you said you find the ad and you want it. It might trigger me all the fear picture framing. Now that's not exactly what it was about. <laughs> So a lot of times his law of attraction is exactly what he sees in the phone book, is exactly what he's angry about. So that's a debit this, and the towel's useful. Like Ringing if you want to neck. wring somebody's neck, <laughs> you can really screw it up. <laughs> Put all this out. Alright. And another tool is, is a mirror. <laughs> Having a mirror beside him and talk to the person in the mirror, so talking which to is a yourself. part of myself I'm talking to. Yeah. Uh, another one is a pillow, and put the person, particularly with grief, is put the person in the pillow and talk to the person, and they, yeah. they often bring up grief. Yeah. What about on the road when it's raining? Do you never get mad? What do you do then? Stop the car, Stop the car. take the key out of the ignition, and the hold the steering wheel and give it to the steering wheel. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the car's very soundproof. And if you turn right. the music up too, if you want to particularly yeah. deaden the sound. Triple M or something. Is it triple J or whatever you say? Really, really, very, really uh, loud. Um, and at home too, turn up the music. Good idea if you feel the neighbours are going to hear you. Yeah. Yeah. So when you walk into Ian's home and you hear his music blaring, <laughs> and you hear this da 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 with a few swear words, you know yeah. what he's doing. <laughs> and I'd, I'd like to give thanks to Elizabeth Kubaros who yeah. gave me all these tools. Yeah. <laughs> And can you just explain, Ian, this is a lady, there's a lady called Elizabeth Kubler ross who has since passed, by the way, and who is now on the Divine Love Path, I think. And she was very, very interested in helping people deal with emotional processing. 
and she was also very interested in spirit connection as well. And uh, and how Ian learned some of these techniques was uh, through through her. Through some of the workshops. I guess. And he's feeling her now, actually, because yeah. she's here rather right than moment. Some of the staff members. Eddie Reed has passed on. And David. So there's different David staff. Mullins. Different staff and staff. Staff on. members have helped me a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you very well, much, Ian. I'm pleased to share that with you. I hope you, I hope you can pay fine new use for your telephone book. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, man. Now, the key is not to stay in the anger. So remember that. The key isn't to stay in the anger. It's to express the anger and drop down. Like, if you stay in the anger, you're going to find this a very damaging process rather than a very helpful one. We need to drop down into the underlying causal emotion. That's what we're, the object of this exercise is. We want to get this anger out of us, and the only way it's going to come out of us, if it's a childhood rage or anger, is experiencing it. If it's an adult anger and rage, that's something I want to talk about in a minute about adult anger and rage. So after the break that we have, I'll talk about adult anger and rage and what we need to do with that and what's actually happening there. So here, bear in mind, what we're talking about is this childhood anger and rage and how to connect with it and then how to just allow it to be released in a safe way so you're not damaging other people. Thanks, Ian.